Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. How are you guys doing this Gorga day? I don't know why I'm starting off so giggly. I apologize. I have the giggles. I'm not gonna lie, I do have the giggles. It could be this poppy I'm drinking. It could be this prebiotic soda. It's not small, it's not small, but I do love them. Anyways guys, what is up? How are you doing today? So we're gonna be doing a testing new makeup video. Oh, ho, 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 ho. we got a lot of shit. The new Ram Foundation. We got the new House Labs. Concealer, new Patrick Totter Dimension. We just have a lot of new options here, a lot of new things to look through and gander through. Um, and meander through. That's a word, right? Hey Siri, is meander a word? We're gonna get through this. We are gonna get through this today. I swear to you, I promise you, we're gonna get through this wilderness together. Well, as always, if you guys don't like this video, if you guys don't like me, please don't fucking watch it. You know the joke with that. But if you guys do like this video, if you guys like when we test new hyped makeup, you guys like the gays. When will it stop? Give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you're not already. Uh, yeah, let's go get started on today's video. Okay guys, so like, can I just say first things first? I'm just looking at this right now. This is the Cali Ray SoCal Super Bloom Lip and Cheek Hydrating Soft Stain. I put this on earlier because I was like, I wonder what it feels like. I've had this stain on my hand for hours. It ain't coming up. So, um, I feel like the first stain. I'm gonna do a little bit. Mm -hmm. Does it really stain out the lip? This could be your fucking, your girly. Because it's been hours. I can't even. I can't even, I can't. Okay guys, so we have, I'm gonna try this. This is the new Lawless Forget the Filler Skin Plumping Line Smoothing Perfecting Cream. I think that Lawless has such a good thing with their Forget the Filler line. I think they're so genius for it. I'm obsessed with it. This moisturizer immediately feels so gorgeous and honestly lightweight, almost feels like watery. Will I be filled? Listen, baby, I will be filled. I will be plucked, I will be primed, and I will be proper. Trust and believe. I have already, you guys, I already have a savings account for when I'm older and I need a lot of work done. <laughs> I will age, of course, age is natural, but I will fight it every step of the way. Tooth and nail. Tooth and nail, blood, sweat, and leather. Anyway, you guys, that honestly feels amazing. It's already like kind of seeping in. That was really nice. Doesn't really smell like anything, I don't think. Does this shirt make me look washed out? Like, what is this shirt giving to me? Like, I kind of like it. I kind of do like it. This is, what's this shirt from, Talented? Talentless, talentless. I think this is the collab they did with Scott. So really like a shout out to them. So let's move right along. We're gonna, we're gonna do, so we have some like actual complexion products I really wanna try out. We have REM, we have House Labs. I was gonna like pull out the Mario concealer, but I already have used it on a TikTok and I did try it already and I did like it a lot. So I was like, no girl, I can't do it again. I already did it. And then we have the new Milk Pore Eclipsing Powders. So we have to like try all these. We have to try them, but first is prime. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a primer I have used and I really like, this is the REM Beauty Blurring Primer, which I am literally obsessed with, so I'm assuming this is gonna work well with the foundation. I'm really excited. So I actually went and bought this one at Ulta. I had posted like all my stories, so I'm really excited about the foundation. And REM was like, we can send it to you. And I was like, no, I already, it's, it's cool. I would love to, I'm, I'm cool with supporting. And they're like, no, we're gonna send it to you too. So I'm like, okay. So um, I have my bought one. And then PR is, uh, is on its way. So shout out to Rem, that's fucking sweet of them, so thank you guys. Um, I bought the shade Light 1N as my shade, and I've heard great things about it. That has a really, really high coverage foundation, that it looks really nice. Oh, it's more like, it's more skinny this way than I thought it was gonna be. Like, if you look at it like just like this, it's like, oh, look at this concealer. Bam! <gasps> this is like those fish that when you look at head on, they're like, oh, what a normal looking fish. Boom, body, and they give you body. Eee. Yeah, I love it. I love it. So I love, I actually really think the pony is really cool. So we're gonna take this in, and hopefully this one works for me. I'm so scared. So we got light one in, and we're just gonna load it onto the brush and we're gonna see, wow, 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 wow. The coverage is very real. Oh. You guys, the coverage is sickening. I actually do think that the shade works for me. You know, sadly. I was thinking, I'm like, oh, maybe it's gonna be too light for me. Like, there's no way it's gonna work for me. It's too light. I didn't even need two pumps. I think I only need one pump for the entire, entire face. This is gonna cover up every indiscretion I had. All my indiscretions from last night, because you know last night I did get trade. I don't know if you guys saw my TikTok, but I've been filling y'all in over there about 
the dude that I was, like, really into, or honestly, technically, I still am really into him and have a crush on this guy, right? But <laughs> he don't like me back, so, you know, it is what it is. I don't know what to do about it other than cry. Honestly, I feel like the color actually looks pretty darn good on me. But I want to go a little bit darker. I just do. Wait, my nose is breaking apart. I can immediately, I can already tell. Hold on. Let me try with the brush and see if I can pat it in. Sometimes foundations will be... Fuck. I, I, I just dug into the powder. Foundations will just not cooperate on my nose. It, like, makes me violent. Could also be my skin. I could be drier right now than usual. I feel like there's something in my facial journey right now that we're on that is not mixing correctly and it's causing a little bit of like breakage and it could be the moisturizer could be the primer and it could be the foundation could be all those fucking things it looks better now though it looks better now now that i like patted it in with the brush it does look better and the foundation is really pretty and i love the coverage i really do i really like it i want to like it a lot but i'm gonna have to continue to use it because my first impression i'm like wait what is making my base break apart? Sometimes I want to, you know? We're gonna go in with Miss House Labs Concealer. So these two shades are Fair Peach and Fair Rosy. And I think I'm just gonna combine them both and see what it's gonna give. I love, when I tell you I love the Triclone Foundation, I'm literally obsessed with it. So this, I'm very, very excited and very intrigued to try it. It's very thick. Very thick. I know it's because skincare infused concealer, which I love about this. I'm scared to put it on my nose because my nose is is trying me. My nose is trying me. I feel like this is a good shade for me. Like on its own, this is pretty good. This is pretty good. This is so random. When I'm putting it back in, it kind of like the actual top, the top of it, <laughs> the actual applicator itself is pretty large for the whole of this portion. So it kind of like, you have to like do a lot of pressure to actually push it back in, if that makes any sense. Might take a little bit of the pinky one too, because I just like the pink color. We're gonna see how that looks. I'm so intrigued. Please don't fail me, I'm so scared. Because I literally love the foundation, so I can't imagine not liking the concealer. I'll cry. Okay, well that melted in like actual butter. That literally, as if I didn't really do it. I tapped it two times and it was, it was dispersed. Gaga, gaga. That literally went on like butter. Like thick ass Paula Deen butter. The rest of how easy it kind of glided on. Um, I will say it's like a more of a, a medium coverage. Let's see if we can build it up a little bit because I do want more in this specific area right here to be covered because the darkness, darkness does fall there. I love how easy it is to blend and it disperses so nicely and it leaves your under eye looking so just almost, not radiant necessarily. I wouldn't say radiant, but it definitely does give it like a natural glow. First impressions, literally Gorgina. Um, medium coverage, does build up, but not like a ton. Doesn't build up like as much as like the foundation. The foundation has a lot more coverage, I think, than even the concealer does. However, it's really, really pretty as like our, you know, radianty, radiant kind of concealer. It doesn't like beat out my top concealers. It definitely doesn't, but it is really nice. And I do really like the pink one a lot and I will be using that one to like brighten my under eye up. It's cute. It will blend nicely with the foundation, if that makes sense. Yeah, yeah. Let me see the creasing. Hold on, all right. Honestly, that concealer helped my, the patchiness on my face. <laughs> That's funny. And it's not creasing very fast either, which I love, I love, I love. I think that if you, especially if you have like more mature skin or you have skin that is a little like drier or you know you want to have a little bit of luminosity to your skin i think you're gonna really like this i really do i think that this is a great great like skincare infused concealer and i feel like after the two layers it was able to be built up not like a ton but it definitely was able to be built up because i can see barely of my blue veins and stuff popping through so it definitely does Definitely does work pretty darn good. Okay, so let's go in with our powder now. I wanna go in with our She Glam. This is the Insta Ready powder and they have a pink one they came out with recently. So I really wanna just try this out and see what we think. I love a good pink powder and I actually really like their Insta Ready powder. So in general, so I'm like, oh my God, let's totally try it out and see what we think. We have a little puff with it. I like that this doesn't give me too much pink, but it definitely gives me enough pink to brighten. Ooh. Let's see how these, you know what, at least, look at it. 
Hello? At least, you know, at least we're getting more coverage underneath that eye with that powder. And then I'm gonna take on the face, I wanna take this. I wanna take the new Milk Pore Eclipsing Powder, and we're gonna see if this does eclipse our pores. Does it eclipse our pores? I think Milk has such great products, they really do. So I'm excited to see how this turns out. I'm sure it's gonna look great. Especially with something like a pore eclipsing, baby, you know we are gonna be mattified down. Okay, where's the mirror? Absolutely, mad as balls. You guys, we are mattified down. My pores look smaller, so it did exactly, exactly what needed to be done. You see, look at my forehead, where's the shine? It's gone. I would definitely say that it is mattifying for sure and that it does make my pores look smaller. It's not necessarily like blurring or anything like along those lines, but I do think that it is very, very, very pretty. And I remember they had a powder before that was really nice too, that was kind of like blurring and mattifying. So Miss Miss Milk, they know. They know the tea. And I think that if you guys got this, you guys would like. My poor nose today is like a disaster. I have no idea when my microphone cut out. Yeah, it died on me. So the powders, quickly. The She Glam Insta Ready. Baby, the pink would got me together. It got me together, it brightened me up. It literally looks so sickening. I'm so glad I used it. I knew it would because I like the Insta Ready, their other shades, but I'm glad that they came out with the pink version of it. If you wanna, you know, add a little more oomph to your pink, to your pussy poppin' pink, you know what I'm saying? So I'm really, really glad that they did this and I really do enjoy it. I think that it added coverage. It blurred out my under eyes. I think it looks so great. The milk powder, I think, was so nice. It's so finely milled. I do feel like it did a really good job at setting my face, and I do think that makes my pores look smaller, and I do think that a pore eclipsed me. It eclipsed these pores, so it did exactly what I thought it would do. It's very finely milled. It's really, really nice, and it feels lightweight, so I think they did a great job on the pore eclipsing powder. Good job, milk. Good job. Both powders were a big win. They were both big slay. So we have these sprays from Trixie Cosmetics. These are the ninth inning all the way setting sprays, shimmer spray from Trixie Cosmetics. I'm so excited. I love using Trixie. So we have different types of setting sprays. They did like a priming spray, uh, one like this that gives shimmer. And then, oh, it smells like coconut. And we have an all day one, so we're gonna use that out. But you know what I'm gonna do first? I'm gonna put some bronzer on my face really quickly, and then we're gonna come back to do some blush, because we have several options. Like we have that Cali Ray one, the new ColourPop cream blushes. So I wanna try both those out. I'll be right back. Okay, you guys, so we have our bronzer on. Do you know what's so weird? Is that like, I was so focused on the foundation and the concealer and literally everything about my base that I forgot to put on cream bronzer. So I feel so off, like I feel so weird. Like the bronzing doesn't feel the same. <laughs> I feel old, I do, I do. So what we're gonna do you guys, so we're gonna put on some cream blush. I don't actually think that I'm gonna do these as my cream blush only because with how they acted on my hand like this, I just don't have a ton of like faith that my my cheeks won't be like stained, which could be someone's vibe. Someone might want like a, a stained cheek to last them like all day long, which I totally get. For me, I feel like it's great for the lips. I think my lips look great and they still look stained. And I really do like these, but I don't think I'm gonna use it for the cheek. Cause I'm fully beat, right? I don't think that this would work well with a fully beat face, I don't. I think this is definitely more meant for like the natural, just has concealer and like a little bit of tinted moisturizer on kind of vibe. And that's not what I'm giving right now, I'm giving full coverage. So what I'm gonna do instead, is I'm gonna go in with the new ColourPop uh, cream blushes. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna take our little shimmer spray. We're gonna put this on our face. It smells really nice. It feels nice, it has like a nice amount of coverage to it. More, it's more sheer, but I feel like it can be built up really well. Cool, we're gonna take that. It's gone. Cherry Blossom, what the hell just happened to me? Maybe we should try this shade. This is Angel Energy. That's even lighter. That is even lighter. Forget the sponge. We're going with the brush. This is now. This is serious. So, you know, this is what I'm talking about. Like this is what I'm fucking talking about. Right here. This is what I'm saying. But they're not like as pigmented as I thought they were gonna be. I got a really. The consistency is just not what I was expecting. There we go. I got a really low. If you if you want color, you have to load these brushes up or like the product up heavily and now i look a little crazy but you know like i had to okay so the product itself is it's it's unique i didn't know i wasn't expecting the consistency that we got out of it it feels like super super thin 
but it almost dries down to this like matte-ish finish. It's really interesting. I'm not sure if I like it because it took me so much of the product to build up to even get there. I had to load up my brush like so ferociously to get to any spot that I want it to be. And I of course broke apart my whole base. It fucked me. I'm actually going to take some of this and I'm gonna put it on the areas that my face is broken apart. And we're just going to tap that in and see if that helps at all. Or it's gonna get worse, so we're gonna find out together. It got much worse. Oh, yeah, no, it's, it's fucked. You guys, I'm, I'm actually fucked right now. Look at my base right here, do you see this? It's all gone. It's all gone, Diva, because the cream to get any pigment off, we had to do this. And it's no good. It's no good. Not at all. It's, it's pretty bad, huh? It's pretty fucking bad. I think I'm going to wipe off my foundation. I think I'm gonna, I usually don't do this in the video. Like, I never, ever, ever do this. But I'm gonna wipe off my base, restart my base. Yeah. And then I'm gonna do my cream blush and cream bronzer underneath the powder this time and we're gonna see what transpires because i'm very intrigued okay so what i decided to do was redo my entire base my base is redone i feel reborn i have not, my base hasn't looked that shitty since 2010. yeah i Wash my face, I exfoliated my face this time. Wash my face, I exfoliated, I used a different moisturizer and I used a different primer than I did before. So I wanted to do things I like kind of knew. I used the Rare Beauty uh, primer. So that's what I have so far on my face. I have my same, everything else is the same, but I did change the moisturizer and I did change the primer just to see if it would make a difference and I haven't powdered yet. So this is what the face is. I still have the house labs underneath my eyes, the Rem Beauty on the face, everything. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our cream blushes now. I'm gonna go in with the ColourPop one and see what happens and I will be taking a new brush. I still feel like they're extremely, extremely light and you have to really load them up like so much to get any kind of payoff. And I'm using like a really dense Kabuki brush and I feel like the cover, it's so light. I have to go in with like four layers, three layers to get kind of what I would expect out of a cream blush. You know what I mean? I'm doing too much so I don't actually really like it. Well, at least now I know like that's what it was and like that it really is a product that like, I'm not a huge, huge fan of. Should I take a little bit? So now that I'm not sad, I'm gonna take a little bit of this, the Cali Ray. We're gonna blend it onto my hand and then I'm gonna lightly press over. See, like now I feel like it's not really disrupting my foundation. It is a little bit, like I'm, it's definitely like shearing out a little bit because you're going in with such a glossy kind of product. It doesn't look nearly as terrible as it did before. This is great for the lips. I will continue to use this for the lips because I think it looks Mmm, I think it looks so pretty. Not for the cheeks for me, it's not for the cheeks. You can, if you have no makeup on or whatever, however you wanna do your, your glam, your base, it's just not, not my kind of product. Uh, for the cheekies, for the cheekies. Okay, now I'm gonna set my face and then we'll continue on into this journey. I had to make sure, you guys, I had to make sure. Okay guys, so we are back and the brows are on. Back and the brows are on. I mean, they're filled, you know what I'm saying. Back and the brows are filled, back and the brows are on. I like to do a little remix here and there. Okay, so guys, so we are, what we're gonna do is we're actually going to have my bronzer on, I have my blush on, I have powder on top of the creams first. And we've got, I feel like we've gotten our base to a really like nice spot. You know, I was scared for a second, I was really was. We've been on a journey in this video, we really have been, and we've been through a lot together here. So what we're gonna do next, is I'm actually gonna go and highlight with this product right here, this looks so beautiful, this is the Lancome X Louvre like palette. This is the one where like Zendaya has a photo and she's like doing her like black her like black cape with like the white marbling wing on the other side, it just looks really sickening. And that is what this product is. Look at this. Oh my God. I didn't see this looking at it now, but looking at it through, oh, looking at it in the monitor, I now realize that it's a freaking face embossed throughout the entire thing. I'm so gagged and I can't tell in person. That is so wild. So we're gonna take this shade up here and we're just gonna go and give ourselves a little bit of a glur on the skin, a little glow on the skin. This is so like freaking insanely stunning. I'm kind of gagged. Very like glow, very glow. It's very glow, it's ba they're baked highlighters. You guys see how it's just giving more of a natural like glow from within like ethereal vibe. Oh, you can build that shit up, up. 
You guys, this palette is actually very sickening. And it's just very pretty, and I'm very glad to have it. So thank you so much, Lancome, for sending that shit to me because it just looks beautiful. Like I honestly, it's so stunning. I just want to, I just want to play, or I want to do nothing with it and just put it on, put it into like a drawer and never touch it. I don't know what I'm, what I'm deciding here. The actual product itself is nice. They are baked shades, so they're not gonna be super, super intense highlighters. They kind of remind me of like, think of like you know like hourglass highlighters ambient however they can be built up to be a little bit stronger one highlighter and the rest are eyeshadows i mean honestly <laughs> when it comes to, like the practicality unless you want it for the packaging itself it might not be the most practical product i think it's beautiful and it looks amazing and i like it but like seeing this i'm not like yeah eyeshadow eyeshadow eyeshadow, eyeshadow. i'm thinking like highlighter highlighter blush toppers and what the fuck is that so you know what I mean? Like it just kind of depends. I wish there was some mattes thrown in there, but I don't know if you could because of the way it was embossed and pressed into it, the pans. I don't know, but it is beautiful and I'm very much very glad I have this. It's stunning. And the product works nice. So I already primed my eyes, by the way. I have some concealer on my eyes and I powdered them. So what we're gonna do for the eyes, I feel like we have to go with Miss Patrick Top Major Dimension 3. We gotta do it. Look how stunning this is. An entire matte palette with two creams on the side for that creaminess cream. Like, I'm ready to cream myself right now with this shit. I also have this palette right here, which I think is so stunning. This is the Trevor X Dose of Colors, which is such a gorgeous palette. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. And I just wanted to shout this out really quickly because I probably will use a Patrick Ta one, but I wanted to give them a little bit of a love and same with their eyeliner. Cause I love Trevor and I love Dose of Colors. So I think that they absolutely slayed this and it's such a gorgeous, gorgeous collection. Trevor's so cute. Like he's the cutest little thing. I always want to like tell me like, you're so adorable. Like I just can't, I can't handle it. Okay, we're going to go in with Miss Major Dimension. I'm curious to see what the formulation and how it like is similar or differs from the original. I'm gonna take this shade right here. The powders themselves are pretty fluffy. You press in and baby, they are jumping out. They are jumping at the bits to be seen and to be heard. So just be aware of that. They are very, more of a powdery, can you see? They're very powdery, but they are going on like butter, so I don't give a shit. They are blending themselves here. I ain't doing shit. The literal only call out is the fact that they are almost like lightly pressed because you get so much kick up in the pan, but like, let's be honest, you guys, do we care? I don't. I don't because they're so stunning that I literally could not care less. Clap if you care. Okay, let's do the brown and I'm just gonna build it up. Damn, these are should we do like a brown smoky eye or what? Because that's what it's, going, what it's turning into because these things are pigmented as shit. But this would be really fantastic for like a makeup artist kit. And the consistency is definitely, definitely mirroring the consistency of the other outer dimensions. So it's definitely like, if you're thinking like, is it gonna be the same? Is it gonna be high quality? It is, and it's working quite well. So what I'm gonna do you guys, I'm gonna take a little bit of that brown, that chocolatey brown cream, that creme shade. We're gonna take that and we're gonna pack that onto the lid. Cause I'm just kind of curious to see what it looks like. I'm just taking the brown cause I don't necessarily want to do the black. It's a little bit too intense. And the cream is it's pigmented, but it shears out. If that makes sense. Like you can build them up to be more pigmented, but you can have them a little bit sheerer. It's kind of exactly what I want to do. Oh shit, I'm getting crazy now. Okay, we're gonna take a LBE3. I want to use that to blend the creams. So if you want, like you could you could set them, of course, which I will be doing, I'll be setting them as well. But they do dry down really nicely. So now let's take a shadow, one of the brown shades. We're gonna pack that onto the lid and just gonna set the cream. That's so pretty. Oh my god. I'm gonna fall over. Now I just gotta blend. <laughs> Look at that brown ass smoky eye. Sheesh. Okay guys, I'm gonna go finish my eyes off camera. Because I'm going to give raccoon very soon if I don't really focus on this eye. And I'll be right back. So now that my smoky eye is blended to absolute filth, I actually added some of that white in the inner corner to brighten it up. And it brightened it so much. Girl, we are blended to filth. I'm going to actually take these new She Glam Live to Roam Get Going Cream Eyeliners. The brown one because these are so insanely creamy. I'm going to do my waterline. I'm like shook by these. Bitch. We are smoke. Smokey, Smokey the bear. <laughs> enough, enough. Should I add a little bit of this eternal? Like I was thinking like maybe I add a little bit like over the like this, the, the center or something. I shouldn't, it looks good like this. I don't know what I'm doing. Demeter looks sickening. 
Okay, you know what? I might just do a little, just to see. Just a literal smidgen to kind of give us a little bit of a shift, but that's it. That's all I'm doing. I kind of like how it looks like with the shirt because it kind of gives us like slightly green reflect. <laughs> These are pressed pretty hard. I was actually kind of surprised. These are pressed a little bit harder than I'm used to. So just make sure you're getting like a good amount on your finger or brush. Let's actually try the Trevor Excessive Colors liner. There's actually, it's a double-sided liner, which is so cool. A black and a white. So freaking genius. Oh, it's a nice ass white. Okay. That's nice. Shit, that's nice. Did you have something to say about me? Okay, let's try this Huda Beauty mascara. This is the Huda Beauty One Coat Wow mascara. Humongous applicator. It's coating really nice though. I like how it looks. Look at that. That shit. Oh my God. No, I get it. One coat. Wow. I understand. One coat was giving me wow. She's incredibly intelligent. And my curls falling, of course. Yeah, of course. Um, did a great job at coating my lashes, making them look thicker, not longer, just more thick and voluminous. Give me a nice volume. My curls automatically falling. Of course. It's too heavy for my lashes. Yeah. Where did, where, where did my lashes go? Baby, look how full my lower lashes look. They don't look like that all the time. That literally looks like I'm wearing falsies underneath my lashes. Whoa. I'm impressed by you. Okay, I'm gonna go finish all that and I'll be right back. So I just quickly lip lined real quick with the Morphe Sweet Tea lip liner. That's the lip liner I'm wearing right now. Um, and my eyes look like this. The liner was so sickening and it dries like a matte finish. Kind of like a, yeah, it's pretty matte, dude. They absolutely did that on the liner for sure. So what I'm gonna do for the lips now, you guys, I'm gonna take this Right here, this lip combination. This is the Ali Dawson X Ofra collaboration. You know what? Do I want to do the liquid lipstick and the gloss or just the gloss? That's a good question. So this is the liquid lipstick color right here. Really pretty. This is in the shade Kaya, which I believe is her dog's name. So cute. That's the shade right here. Maybe I'll do a little bit like on the outer corners. It has like pink to it. It has some terracotta to it. It has some brown to it. It's a very unique shade actually. Okay, okay. Really pretty shade. And now I'm gonna take the gloss, which is actually a really unique color too. This is the lip gloss in the shade Koa, which I believe is her other dog. And this is almost like a brown gloss with, let's see, gold and pink. Oh wow, some gold and pink reflect. But this, it's so sheer. It's not like a gloss that's like, like when you look at it, it looks like damn, it looks like brown, right? But it's not, it's actually very, very, very sheer. It's not actually giving us like, Coverage is just giving us a really pretty glow to the lip. These are literally Allie Dawson's lips. Like this is literally the color that she always does. Like this is her combo that she always does. She created it. This isn't really my lip combo tea. It's just not like, I'm not like really into this kind of color on me. I feel like it just doesn't look good. I feel like it makes you look washed out. I don't know. I like more lighter nudes. <laughs> It makes them so fair, obviously, but if you are more like tan than me or more like, you know, just like deeper in collection or you're fairer and you like a fall looking lip, this looks like pumpkin spice. On my lips, it literally looks like a pinky pumpkin spice lip. It really does. Um, so if you like colors like this, you should definitely try it out because it is very, very, very pretty. It's not necessarily my like cup of tea, but how to support, how to support the dolls. Let's finish with one last spray of our Trixie spray. It's so nice, it's so pleasant, I like this spray a lot. And that is it, you guys. That's it for today's entire video testing. <gasps> My mascara was completely dry. Completely dry. What the hell? Oh, that sucks. That really sucks. So the mascara transferred from just like a very small amount of wetness. So I think that if you sweat or you get oily and your lower lashes are touching your this part, your skin, you're doomed because that literally just happened to me. And now we have this little transfer down there. That doesn't really happen to me very often. When it comes to setting spray, it's like that actually never happens to me because the mascara never really does that. Damn, Huda, I was, I was, I was believing in you on the, on the Huda Beauty mascara. Girl, like Loki, that ruins your entire glam. Like it ruins your glam. Thank God I'm done. <laughs> Let's do our misses of the video for me because a lot of things did work fantastically, but I'm gonna show you guys my misses. I would say for my misses, it would be these two products right here. It was the ColourPop, uh, cream blush. I just don't like how it looks. I just don't like how, it, like, what it, the effect it gave. It took me forever to build it up. It was just too sheer for me. I wanted to like it more. I wanted it to be a little bit more emollient. I think that it was like, it was almost too matte. And then, of course, the mascara that just happened to me right now, I would have to say it was the One Coat Wow that just got me together. 
any wetness that touches your face and if your mascara is touching your skin is going to get you. It's gonna get you good. Yeah, if you're wet or oily or anything happens on your face and you get wet and your lashes touch your skin, you're doomed. You are absolutely doomed. Also really quickly about these two products right here, the House Labs Concealer. I did like it and I'm gonna to continue to use it. However, I wish it had a little bit more coverage to it. And I know that it's more skincare infused and it's more supposed to be like a medium, more like glowy vibes and I totally, totally get that. I just wish that I had a little bit more I just wanted more coverage. I just, I did, because I felt like the foundation has more coverage than the concealer does, and I was like, usually concealer, I would feel like would have more coverage than the foundation, you know? So I just personally felt like it was just lacking in coverage for me. And then the Cali Ray SoCal Super Bloom, I feel like this would be fantastic as a lip tint. Super great for it. I think it would look gorgeous, and I, when I put it on, it like lasted. It lasted on my hands. The tint was there. It was so sick. I feel like on the cheek, it's not necessarily my vibe as much, because, I don't know, I feel like it just kind of distributes a little odd on my cheeks. I don't know why. It did look a little weird, and I feel like it's not really meant for the full coverage girlies on the cheeks. I feel like it's great for more natural glam. I can see that happening and working greatly, but if you're a full coverage girly and you put this on the cheeks, I just don't know if it's gonna work. These are definitely not the worst of the video, obviously, but like just little like notes on like usage and what I thought of them extra. <laughs> And yeah, anyways, that's it for today's video. If you guys had fun watching, have a great rest of the night or day, wherever you guys are, and I'll catch you guys in my next video. Bye, I love you. Bitch, I said what I said. I sound crazy, like a fucking velociraptor. Oh God, the rat's nest. <laughs> oh, it's, it's ratting. The rat's nest is ratting. Hey guys. <laughs> wow, there's a spider on my light. Well, Gotta burn the whole place down. Okay guys, so we are back. <laughs> well, as always, if you guys don't like this video, it's like, <laughs> can I speak? Looking at it into the rear, the rear view mirror. All right, governor. <laughs> That's horrible. God, I want a hot dog real bad. I want to be DP'd.